you know what? I really thought we were on a roll. But tonight, we wet the bed. More should I say, shit the bed. Well, I mean, that's nothing short of an understatement. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this game. I have never seen a very atrocious and awful performance against a subpar Giants team who is back is having a guy named Tommy DeVito who's an undrafted free agency. An, uh, who was an undrafted free agent, excuse me, just torture our defense and eat our defense alive. And that's not, and that's just the start of it. And man, I mean, it's starting in the second half, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm just, I mean, even if we won, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a rant because... <laughs> Oh my god, just, I mean, this is going to be a long rant, fellas and ladies. Man, we just shit the bed. And like I said, it was an understatement. It's an understatement. I cannot recount the amount of miscues we had tonight that made us lose this game. And I thought this was a whole different team. I mean, a team that beat the Chargers, who had a lot of firepower on offense, but their defense is absolutely dog shit. The Lions and the Chiefs, who are currently in the pole position of uh, their divisions. And now you have the fucking Giants come in. I mean, no, not come in Green Bay. What am I thinking? All right, so we're in the Big Apple. I mean... I could hear a shit ton of Packer fans. And I just thought, man, we're just going to trample all over them. But, I mean, with how out of sync our offense was, Jordan Love, he just could not hit the broad side of the barn, broad side of a barn. On most of his throws, he went uh, 25 of 39. While Tommy DeVito, he went 17 of 21. That is the fucking difference. And that is not, I cannot condone that as a fan, you know? You had everything going. You were the number seven seed going into the week. I mean, if you, look, I mean, our schedule was pretty easy from here on out. And I said, I'm not, don't, I don't want to jinx it. But guess what? We fucked it up tonight. I will get into like the playoff picture and shit uh, later on, but I'm just going to talk about all the miscues. AJ Dillon, man, he, he was ass tonight. He was just absolutely ass. He, I mean, hell, Patrick Taylor was a better runner. He probably had better yards per carry because he has great vision in A.J. Dillon. Well, he, I mean, dude trips over himself pretty much every single play. Two, he has his ball carrier vision ratings should probably be like a zero in Madden. I'll tell you that right now. <sighs> Man, this game was nothing short of a, of atrocious. It, it was just bad. It, it was just bad. And I feel like bad is just an understatement. And I am ready for Stephen A. Smith to go off on us on first take tomorrow. Man. And, I mean, just the individual efforts, just they were subpar. And not only that, our lack of execution in the red zone. The play calling, it was bullshit. It was bullshit. And, I mean, look at how many points we left out on out there. 
I want to say, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to do the math. I'm going to do the math. Just give me one second. Okay, so 4.8, so that's 30. This very well could have been probably a 34 to 14 game. Just our lack of execution in the red zone, it was just atrocious. Play calling, I mean, we did have that one touchdown drive, but the play call on the two-point conversion was bullshit. But honestly, I feel like either way, the way we played, I feel like we didn't deserve to win that game. And maybe the win was maybe a factor in Jordan Love not hitting the broadside of a barn tomorrow broadside of a barn on on most of his throws in the first half but that should not excuse for the poor performance that this offense had tonight and i do not want to go back to the dysfunctional offense we had between like the second half of the falcons game until week eight i am i i i'm fed up with that bullshit and now what's gonna happen we're gonna look like bullshit and you know those three games, it's gonna be all for none because we're probably gonna get a shittier draft pick if we just would have lost these four games and just went three and ten. I'm just saying. It's just kind of like that run we had to the playoffs at the end of last year. <clears throat> it, it's fucking unbelievable. And the amount of turnovers. I mean that third and two option play i feel like that was just a terrible call jordan love should not i mean he probably should just he would have been better off giving it to aj Dillon because he cannot hold on to the ball to save his life and then that interception just a couple of dry a drive or two later i mean why do you even throw that i think he had romeo dobbs open over the middle i mean that was a fucking bad throw And then Keyshawn Nixon, muff punt. Oh my God, the dude should have just fell down and just given himself up. I mean, why do you even punt or trying to get up? I know you're one of the best kick returners in the league, but you should not let your ego consume you in the moment when you know you don't have like 100% control of the ball. Just fall on it and live to fight another down. But no, you gave up a fucking touchdown. And that is kind of what cost us the game. I didn't want to admit it at the time, but I feel like that's where we lost the game. And I really do feel like we lost the game a bunch of other times. And speaking of the defense, I, I mean, oh my God. I mean, he was, our corners are just ass. Valentine, Valentine, Keyshawn Nixon, who's a fucking kick returner. They are just ass. They they are they're they're just ass. I thought. I mean, you're locking down the lion. Well, okay, the lions are actually pretty good offense. And then Keenan Allen. Okay, Keenan Allen got bailed out by a couple of drops, but I really do feel like we shouldn't have won the Chargers game. I mean, the last couple of weeks have been very drama filled. And a run defense, it, it just got gash. Every time the Giants would run trick play, that, that that's how they beat us. They, they ran a bunch of gadget plays, like Wildcat. And then I felt, I, I really thought in the moment that pass to Wandale Robinson was the final nail in the coffin. Because, I mean, Randy Bullock could probably pull a Gary Anderson or a Blair Walsh, but... This game was just nothing short of bad. It was just bad all around. And not only that, I mean, I am just not in the right headspace. At all. I... I got finals coming up. I've barely even started some papers that I gotta get going on. 
I have a human bio quiz due at midnight. It is currently 10.38, so I got like an hour and 21 minutes to complete it. But, I, I mean, that should not be a problem. But, anyways, I that this game should not have been as close as it was, let alone just lost the game. Not only this, I'm freezing my ass off in here, and I probably would be a lot warmer if the Packers won. <laughs> But on that on that play, I mean, I feel like, okay, the Packers kind of doing the right thing. Just short gains. Just keep everything in front of you. Don't let them get to the sideline. But then the Wandale Robinson, why don't you, Joe Barry, why don't you send a blitz for once in a crucial situation in your fucking career? And Joe Barry, okay, this is the first time I've actually said fire Joe Barry in a long time, but. I'm I'm going to restart uh the Fire Joe Barry campaign again because he did not send a fucking blitz like all night. He probably maybe sent one or two blitzes, but then I th he did not even put it they like, they should have put a spy on Tommy DeVito because he was just running up the middle literally every single time we blitzed him. I mean, if you had a spy on him, he probably Tommy DeVito probably would have went nowhere and we probably would the the score probably would have been even worse. But nope. We had to let our fans down again. And I I mean, oh my God, oh my God, man. I mean, all the pain I've been through. This is the biggest glimmer of hope I've had all season. And this was the one game we really should have won. But we shit ourselves. Me no likey. And this just really ruins my day. So about the playoff picture, I mean, it's not over just yet, but we're in a, I want to say a five-way tie for first place in that seventh spot. But still, I think if we would have won this game, I think that the schedule would have been a lot easier, to be honest. But now we got the Bucks, the Panthers. I mean, we better not shit the bed against the Panthers. We better not. And the Bucks at home. I mean, the Bucks coming here at, and I uh, apparently it's going to be warm, reasonably warm for that game in December. I'm not liking that. But hopefully, um. I mean, it's not really over just yet, but not the season not really over just yet. But I feel like I hope this is it because this game was just kind of a fluky game, and hopefully it's a sign, but of like things to come with the next couple of games because I would really like to get in the playoffs this year, especially in a rebuilding year. I want Stephen A. Smith to shut up about Jordan Love being ass and it's a rebuilding year. But we, uh, this does not look, tonight did not look like a playoff team. It did not. But at the end of the day, I mean, we're still technically the number seven seed, but I'm still not buying that we were asked today and we do not have a very friendly schedule moving forward because now the Bears are a game behind us. We do have the head-to-head -head tiebreaker against them. And now we don't have the tiebreaker against the Giants and the Falcons, which really suck. And we don't have the tiebreaker against the Vikings right now. So not looking too good right now, but hopefully we can beat the Bucks and then beat the Panthers. And then now we're back in, back above 500. And then we'd have a big game against Minnesota. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know where I'd rather play. I'd rather beat. I'd rather play the Lions, to be honest, because I know we could beat them. The 49ers or the Eagles, we would just get absolutely shit on. That's just my opinion. But at the end of the day, we just gotta hope for the best moving forward, and 
and that's gonna be it for this video guys so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed like and subscribe peace out go pack go